I can remember, the peoples of Avantasia have been at war. One single monumental battle between humans and orcs, dwarves and shadows, elves and sorcerers. And me, right in the middle. I had enough of it. Enough of sticking my neck out for one side or the other. Enough of carrying out orders or having to fear for my life. I seized the opportunity. And from now on, my life is in my hands. What could possibly go wrong? I left the narrow alleys of the cities behind me and flew to freedom with my brand new airship. As soon as I learn to navigate, it'll take me wherever I want. Ah, a fantastic feeling that nobody can take away from me. Nothing and nobody. Ah, oh, damn. Nathaniel Bonnet! I knew I'd find you! That's Captain Bonnet to you, my dear. The Red Pirate wants his ship back. Then you shouldn't shoot at it with cannons. I, I, I won't rat on you if you let me escape, okay? I'm in no mood for jokes. This is about three sacks of gold. There's no fooling around with my headhunting work friend. If she boards the ship, that could mean the end of my life of freedom. Or my life in general. I've got to escape her. Land on the ice or suffer the consequences. The Red Pirate, the previous owner of the Mary, is a passionate hunter. His favorite prey is people. But since he can't fit through the door anymore, he prefers to send out his bounty hunters, like the Zaz over there. The bottle is empty, but the Red Pirate knows quality when he sees it. The wine had a cork. The cork and corkscrew are still in the neck of the bottle. I'll just keep the corkscrew. I'm not interested in empty bottles. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to deal with the machinery. Right now, I'm just glad everything is working. A rubber hose. Just under two meters long and about a gnome's thumb thick. My guess is that the hose is used for changing water. You hear that engine? There's no reason to break down or explode. If I jettison ballast, I could fly higher and maybe a little bit faster, but no matter what I do, I won't be able to escape Zazie's interceptor. The rope ladder leads up to the balloon. All the ropes, nets, struts, beams up there make me nervous. That's a coffee mill. People in the Eastlands grind ground beans with it to make a bitter drink. They say it has magical effects, especially in the morning. The mill is riveted down. I should leave it there. 
the technology is amazingly simple. You turn the wheel to the left, and the ship flies to the left. Turn it to the right, and the ship flies to the right. Sooner or later, I'll figure out how to fly up and down. Steering isn't really the problem. The question is how to find a given location. All I see around me are white clouds and snow-covered plains. I guess I'm somewhere over the Northlands. That fearsome face with the bared teeth is pretty scary. Not to mention the wolf's head on the ship. Zazie's interceptor is faster than the Mary. I can't get away from her. The mill is riveted down. I should leave it there. I'd love to send a cannonball or two Mizazz's way before she boards the Mary. Unfortunately, there's neither gunpowder nor ammo in the cannon. I'd love to send a cannonball or two Mizazz's way before she boards the Mary. Unfortunately, there's neither gunpowder nor ammo in the cannon. There's a smaller container in the large barrel. A powder keg. Well, let's light a fire under the green skins behind. Ah, rats. Empty. A rubber hose. Just under two meters long and about a gnome's thumb thick. The Red Pirate ship and the prospect of finally being my own master were more important to me than his treasure. But I thought, why shouldn't I start my new life with a couple of chests of gold? What the? Betty? Horns? Marty hats? I hate Mardi Gras! I'll take some confetti, a horn, and a Mardi Gras thing. That's enough fun for today. reach the rope ladder. And even if I could, I feel much safer here on deck than up there. Hmm, I've never been down here. I was a little too busy leaving the pirate island with my profits. But everything the fat man hoarded here is now mine. Pots, jars, creams, powder, Brush, everything you need for a renovation. What the heck? Let's take that. And this. <laughs> you could make a paladin happy with this junk. I always wondered where the fat man got his piggy pink cheeks. Now I know. This must be the finest day in the life of a mirror. Except for the reflection, I don't see anything extraordinary. My ship. Not bad for a poor boy from the streets of Huffington. In the old days, I picked apples and polished them until they looked irresistible. Then I sold them, and the next day I bought more apples with the gold I earned. A lot more. Once again, I polished them and sold them, and on the third day, I could afford wood for a small market stall. With the gold I earned with my market stall, I bought a piece of land to plant apple trees. On the property, I found a hoard of gold and went to play poker. Hard work is crap. It's unbelievable all the things you have to worry about as a pirate these days. Health insurance, pirate social security, pensions, 
casualty insurance? According to these documents, a pirate with an eye patch and a wooden leg is occupationally disabled. The paperwork was boring the first time I read it. Even the paperclip that holds it all together is more interesting. A beautiful model of my ship, the Mary. Haha, <laughs> that looks like expensive cigars. Hmm, locked, of course. It looks like I need a very small key, or a very big axe. Cotton balls for skin-friendly makeup removal. Totally my thing. A very fine powder. It's used to try to cover up the putty on your face. Hmm, a cowboy outfit, a bowling jacket, an octopus costume, a feather boa, the sort of things you'd expect. Hmm. I could dress up as a princess and let myself be rescued by a fat plumber. Nah. I could dress up as a bat, use my anti-interceptor spray, and... Nah, that won't work either. I could dress up as a computer game designer Rewrite the first chapter and... No. It's hard to believe, but none of the costumes seem to be helpful in my situation. When I was a kid, I often dreamt of just taking off and hiding in the forest. But first off, I didn't have equipment as good as this. And second, there were rumors that the trees were alive and would attack campers. Wouldn't a parachute make more sense on an airship than a tent? I mean, even if the Mary were a normal ship, a tent? Ooh, how pretty. Do I detect a hint of sarcasm? Uh, no. Who, who are you? The question is rather, why are you snooping around in the captain's cabin? I'm the captain of this proud ship. Proud? I was once upon a time. Look at me now, I'm a monster. I don't think you look like a monster. Oh, but I do. I'm old and useless. You just want to hear compliments from me, don't you? Oh, if that were so, you just ruined it. Because you know now that I know that you just want to hear a compliment. There's something about you that makes me wish I could move my arms and not to cuddle. Once again, who are you? I'm the Mary. Mary? Like the ship? I am the ship. Or what's left of it. Once I traveled the nine seas, I battled the waves and saw worlds never before seen by humans. Are you quoting something or what? Then the red pirate won me in a card game. I served under five captains, drunkards, pirates, but none of them were as bad as he. He turned me into an airship. He cut off my proud sails and stuck me with these... these bloated bags of air. Oh, you're rid of the fat man. I, Captain Nate Bonnet, won you. Oh, will you also use me for pleasure cruises, little man? Show me off to your drunken friends and strumpets. I want to travel the world with you, go on voyages of discovery, have adventures. I don't have any friends, but we'll see about the strumpets. I always thought figureheads were on the front of the ship. You mean the stern? Right, the stern. It's the bow. Huh? Front is the bow. The stern is starboard. 
Oh, I didn't know that. I see you are fully qualified to helm an airship, little man. I am your captain, and you shouldn't call me little man. You are someone who won an old ship gambling. That does not make you the captain, little man. I, I will be the greatest airship captain of all time. Dreams are all well and good. But one day you wake up and find yourself hanging from a balloon by a rope. And you no longer feel the waves on your bow, the salt air in your sails. That is my biggest nightmare. Listen, Mary, the two of us, you and I, will fly to the edge of the world and back, but you have to help me. Do I? There's an airship flying alongside us. On board is the bounty hunter Mizaz. She's after me and wants to take both of us back to the Red Pirate. What do you expect of me? I'm not a warship. And I can't escape her either. I'm not as young as I used to be. Mazaz could fire a cannonball through your hull at any moment, don't you care? Perhaps it would be best for me to sink here and now. To crash. Ships sink! Ah, not if I can prevent it. I won't let myself be rescued by just anyone. A lady wants to be conquered. Mazaz is cold as ice. She'll come over here, clap me in irons, and take you back to the Red Pirate. You shouldn't always see things so negatively. Maybe there'll be a happy ending. That was the happy ending. The bad end involves broken bones and masts. My masts were taken from me years ago, and I'm not interested in your bones. You know what? I'll deal with a well-toned, fiercely determined, and highly trained orc bounty hunter on my own. I'm sure that would be very amusing. Maybe we could fly faster if we lost a few excess pounds. Such impudence! Ballast! I mean jettison ballast! I see only one thing here that could be described as excess ballast. Ah, why is everyone so mean to me? I think you could offer me more support. After all, I'm busy rescuing your behind as well. Is it worth it? Since it's no longer half underwater, I've been feeling so fat. Don't be so hard on yourself. Thanks to me, you'll soon shine in renewed splendor. All you need is a new crew under the leadership of a strong captain. Unfortunately, all I see here is a weak landlubber. I have to go. As the captain, I have a lot to do. You ought to know. I'll bend open the paper clip. Maybe then I can pick the lock. That's it. Hmm, just one cigar left. I'll use it to celebrate my successful escape this evening.
a fine aromatic cigar from the Forbidden Isle. If I had matches, and I weren't under attack, I might enjoy it. These barrels store everything you want to keep safe and dry on a long voyage. Dried fruit, tobacco, and gummy bears, for example. The barrel is sealed with pitch. I can't open it. The cork here in front is too tight. I can't pull it out with my bare hands. A corkscrew with a robust wooden handle. A real man's corkscrew. Black powder. Gunpowder. <laughs> Enough gunpowder to fire a couple of rounds across Mazaz's bow. <laughs> the fire in the oven is out. All I can see are a few smoldering pieces of wood in the middle. Ah! I'll have scorched my face before the cigar starts to burn. Somehow I have to light the cigar on the embers without having to get my face so close. That won't hold right. The cigar is a lot thicker than the shaft of the horn. It's horrible enough even without the hose. I shoved the cigar a little way into the hose. Oh yeah! <coughs> Smoking is terrible and every smoker is a monster! Well, how about it, Nate? Did you give up? Yeah, just a second. I'm looking for my white flag. That should be enough. Scraps of paper will turn into dangerous grape shot when they're fired from a cannon. I hope so, anyway. All I need is fire. Take that! All right, do you give up? Ah! Oh no! How will I defend myself? All I have is cannonballs! Should be more 
effective ammo for the cannon. Rats. It's stuck tight and won't budge. This baby can make the Kessel run in less than two days, and flies at one and a half times the speed of the wind. Whatever that means. Well, interesting idea, but it certainly won't work without gunpowder in the cannon. Here we go again. My theory is that the cotton will be so compressed by the air pressure that it will hit Zazie's ship like a rock. If that's the way you want it! Ten thousand more shots like that, and I might die of old age! How much of this do you think you can take? That was rather improbable. I'll just use everything that's left. It's now or never. I'd say this finally evens the odds. You hear me? You'll never catch me! Oh no! I thought you bounty hunters always had another trick up your sleeve. That is so unfair. Come on, you can't just take me back to the fat man. Three sacks of gold, Ned. Business is business. Hmm, the bars are all made of iron, but the top and the floor of the cage are made of wood. Well, maybe that's my chance. Hmm, the rivet on one of the boards is loose. I can't get my finger under it. A prisoner on board his own ship. How will Captain Bonnet overcome this cruel twist of fate? What are you doing? I just like to narrate my own life from time to time. Why? Because no one else will. Duh. The lock is as primitive as it is solid. You need a sledgehammer to break it open. First, I have to free myself. And second, I can't get caught by Mazaz. She just makes short work of me. The other rivets are rock solid. The gap's too small to climb through, and the other boards can't be loosened. Still, I'd say I'm one step closer. The chain can certainly take a wallop, and I can use it as a weapon. Even if I could throw the end of the hose over there, how would it hold on? I've fixed the corkscrew to the end of the hose. The chain would slide over the metal pipe and make a hell of a noise. Zazie would notice, and really mad. Aha, uh -huh. so 
So that's how Mazaz got on board. She may be green, but you shouldn't underestimate her. The steam engine has two TP. That's plenty of power for the ship. slide over the metal pipe and make a hell of a noise. Zazzy would notice, and really mad. Hey, Zazzy, let me out of here. I'm the captain of this proud ship, this queen of the seas. My ship and I are a team! She would never leave her captain in the lurch! Face it, I am now the captain of this ship, and it obeys every turn of the helm. But it could shake you off with a daring maneuver, or drop one of those beams up there on your head. Those beams are called yards. Feeble excuse for the captain. She's quite right, Captain Bonnet. And to be honest, I feel somewhat safer in her hands. <laughs> Mutiny. Feminism. If I can climb into the cabin and lock the hatch without being seen, I'll have a few minutes' peace from Zazzy. Only the great is in the way. Come, Zazzy. What do you want, prisoner? Why so impersonal? We've got a long flight ahead of us. We ought to get to know each other better. Oh, this is why I hate bringing back the targets alive. I object. I won this ship fair and square, and I was in international airspace when you illegally boarded. You should have defended it better. Besides, you cheated when you won it. Just like everybody else at the table. But none of them was stupid enough to cheat the fat man out of his ship. You know what? I give up. Let the fat man have his precious ship back. My freedom is more important to me than this ship. It's not just about the ship. You made him look ridiculous. A fat little pirate who runs around dressed in red from head to toe, and I made him look ridiculous? You beat him at cards! In his city! Nobody does that he gets away alive. Somebody should have told me that before. We did tell you, but you just couldn't resist, could you? If you're lucky, he'll just toss you into the dungeon for the rest of your life. We should run away together. We'll fly to the sunny south, sell the ship for gold, and spend the rest of our days playing solitaire and hidden object games. Not interested. Or we'll loot and pillage our way across the world. Me? A hedge fund manager? I'll pass. Or you could use me for other things. You know, I like girls with sturdy thighs. But, but I don't like miserable whips without a hint of self-esteem. Well, if you keep saying such mean things to me, someday I'll throw myself into the abyss. What could happen? You don't seem to have a backbone to break. Ouch. Enough chatter. We both have a job to do. I steer the airship and you just sit in the cage and shut up. Zazzy? Are we there yet? <sighs> I have to go. What? I really need to go to the bathroom. Hold it in. Will you read me something? No. Can we play a game? No. I spy with my little eye something that begins with B. Will you shut up? 
Just sit there in your cage and shut your mouth. But, but are we there yet? Life is so unfair. I wish just once I could have a decent streak of luck. And I wish I could have my hands on the elm and my ears at the same time. So I wouldn't have to listen to your pathetic whining. Wait a second. That should help. Keep talking, I'm all ears. Zazzy? Sugar fangs? She doesn't hear me anymore. Alright, let's give it a try. I hope Zazzy really can't hear anything. Excellent. What was that? What? That sound. You mean my excited heartbeat when I see you from behind? Yeah. I've got the chain. Okay. Maybe the best chance I've got. Whew, that was close. The hatch looks like it will hold, for now. I've got to get that green skin off my ship, but how? Hey, Mary. Well, what's going on? Will you help me now to get Mazaz overboard? Open up there. Is that the person hacking away at my hatch? That's right, and before that, she spat on your deck. That is... Who spits on an old lady's deck? I ah. will avenge you, my lady. But to do so, I need help. Mm, all right. Look under the rug. There's an entrance to a secret cargo hold that was used to transport smuggled goods. A hatch ah! there to the hull. Ah, that could definitely be useful. Thanks. See you later, Mary. See you later, little man. A solid wooden hatch with a lock. Hmm. Huh. Some sort of combination lock, only with symbols instead of numbers. And what's this? A little note that was slipped under the lock. Ah, a cheat sheet. How handy. The following clues are written here. One, under the ship. Two, symbol in the mirror. Three, Age of the Mary. This won't be locked much longer. Whatever you're gonna try, it won't work. On the note, it said one of the symbols can be found under the ship. Could that be about the ship in a bottle? I really have to break the bottle? That would be a pity. I'll hang you from the yard arm without a rope! Ah, rats! No symbol under the Open ship. Up, I mate. was so you sure. Don't stand a chance. I already took the last cigar. As long as I don't refill the box, it will remain empty. Ah! Unless. Not magic. 
That was the stand for the ship in a bottle. The bottle lay on the wood, ah! and... Wait a second! Ha <laughs> ha! There's the symbol! A square with a circle inside it. This must be the finest day in the life of a mirror. Except for the reflection, I don't see anything extraordinary. Open up, Nick! You don't stand a chance! Hey, Mary! Well, what's going on? The hatch to the cargo hold is Open sealed with there. a symbol lock. What's the combination? The no idea. Capanolos installed it because he was worried about his lock collection. When exactly did Captain Olos ah! install the symbol lock? Let me think. Evans, Captain Koo, Captain Warrups, and before that, Captain Olus was here. That must have been 12 years ago. Hmm. So, 12 ah! years ago. How old are you, Mary? Is that any sort of question for a lady? I asked you first. And I won't answer. Ah! I think it's amazing how young and radiant you look. Ah! Oh, really? Yes, your wood shines, your rivets are bright. Go on. Um, your lines are taut, your hull is curving. You look like you just came out of the shipyard. Open up, Nick! You oh, don't you stand a chance! Talker. I do keep myself in good shape. You sure do. You don't look a day over 95. I'm 81! <laughs> ah! Too easy. How old are you again? 81? Oh, that's true. And there's nothing I can do about it. See you oh, later, Mary. You See you later, little man. Right. Three wheels, each with several symbols. This won't be locked much longer. <sighs> the thumbprints form a symbol, an X with a circle above it. Open up, Nick! You don't stand a chance! There's a sliding hatch. Must lead outside. Wah! I 
I still can't believe that the Zaz was able to fool me so easily. I mean, me! The master of cheap tricks! goes our rating. The rope with a grappling hook. No doubt about it. Zazzy is well equipped. The rope ladder leads to a wooden construction on the balloon. But I can't reach it. I thought. Tools and materials for the maintenance and repair of the balloons. A brush, putty knives, a needle with tear-proof thread, a roll of adhesive tape. I'll take that. A flag with a strange coat of arms. It's tied to the main balloon with four cords. around the mouthpiece of the Mardi Gras thing. Let's call it an inspiration. Okay! An instrument with a horrifying potential for fun. If you blow through the funnel of the horn, the other thing should still make that horrible noise. Defy more than just wind and weather. I could keep her busy longer if I attached the thing somewhere. That could work. The horn acts as a funnel and compresses the headwind into the mouthpiece. Quick! Huh? What is that thing? Ah. Whew, that was close. But I got the axe. That will at least gain me a little time. The axe isn't very sharp. Not sure, but Mazaz might keep it dull on purpose. There are rumors about her. A wooden spoon and the heart of an enemy. I don't want to know the details. Open up, Nate! You don't stand a chance! Even unarmed, she's dangerous. I won't get into a fight with her. Even unarmed, she's dangerous. I won't get into a fight with her. I ought to be able to cut through the cords with this, eventually. Got it. as far as possible from the corners. I don't think there's anything else up there for me, but the 
rope could still come in handy. me now, even though I just want to be left in peace. But next time it'll be personal! We're right over the Northlands, miles from the nearest settlement. By the time you get your hands on a ship, I'll be several days ahead of you. Oh, just one knobby little finger left. You know what, Nate? I'll leave you for now. But we'll be meeting again sooner than you think. Don't worry, I'll find you. After all, you won't be going much farther. You... What the... Uh-oh. I know what that is, and I'm afraid I know its plan for me. Strange. You wouldn't expect such modern technology in a Yeti cave. Maybe the previous owner of the cave ran into the Yeti and... well... I'd love to think that the Yeti is making me a nice hot soup, but the reality is probably very different. This is what I hate about living in a fantasy world. We've got absolutely everything here. A two meter tall hairy monster that lives in the eternal ice and eats people? Sure, why not? The lamp is filled with oil. If it fell, the oil might catch fire and cause some confusion. I'd love to think that the yet. Metal cylinder. Maybe the handle of an ancient weapon. Just a bit more! Alright, time to concentrate. This lousy just doesn't work. An amazingly crisp, tasty apple. The Yeti will enjoy this. An apple is hardly the right projectile for tangling with a Yeti.
Aim carefully and... The monster's out cold. Now to get out of here. Monster? Uh, what monster? What the? What? What are you doing up there, young man? Hmm? Who? Who are you? Cornelius Montgomery Happerplap is the name. Happerplap? <laughs> now see here, I'm a zoologist, mountain climber, and recognized expert in the field of polar exploration. And along the way you like a little cosplay? This is part of my mission. I am on the trail of a major discovery. <laughs> a mystery, a sensation. I am searching for... The Yeti. Have you... have you already encountered the Yeti? Not personally, but I have discovered footprints and hair. I believe he has even been here in my research station. Oh, <laughs> incredible. Oh, he is clever. It's as if he knows my every step and thus escapes observation. Are you all right? Do you sometimes have headaches or do you hear voices? At the moment, I only hear your voice, old chap. <laughs> no, 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 quite seriously. I don't hear the voices as frequently as I did, but I have had constant headaches since the fall. Blackouts as well. For example, I can't remember what I did this morning. You fell? Into a crevasse. I was following the trail of the Yeti for several hours. The clever beast led me in circles, again and again. And eventually you got so dizzy you fell into a crevasse. It was exhaustion. I had been hunting the monster for several months, and they all thought I was mad. Since my fall, the situation has improved. I find tracks much more often. <laughs> Things are finally looking up, my young friend. We're in the Northlands, right? Indeed. One could say we're up to our ankles in snow and ice. <laughs> Especially you. <laughs> I'm not really in the mood for jokes. My airship crashed. How can I get away from here? I'm rather pessimistic about the next few months. Winter is coming. This isn't winter? No, oh, not at all. In winter, you would freeze within 20 minutes. This is a beautiful summer's day. You can survive almost an hour in the open. Terrific. Could you help me? I'm stuck. How did you get up there? I suspect that the Yeti hung me up here in his pantry. The Yeti was here? Ooh, did you see him? With my own eyes. He was hairy and white. About your size. Oh, fantastic! Get me down! The Yeti isn't the only dangerous creature here in the area. The real danger is green and hopping mad. Have you tried taking off your shoes? Hmm. Uh. Uh. Young man? There you go. Wait a moment. I have some shoes you can use, and I shall make us a nice hot soup. It's nice to have... Whoa! Everything okay? Ah! I don't believe it.
think of something. Great! My fate will depend on the outcome of a fight between a huge white monster and a little pink one. I wonder what sort of critter that is. Are you trying to kill us all, boy? Cuckoo! Speak in the tongue of this country. Bula Dula Ha. He must learn it, Layla. Leave him be. Didn't mean it. I know. It's mere incompetence. I don't wish to stay here for another year just because of him. Leave alone. Get to work, and you out. Go someplace where you can't make trouble. Can't you bother someone else? Hello. The word is hello. Come back when you can speak the language.
Black Rock.
Yüksek. Yüksek. Mums, fots! Fots, fots! Blocks! Bunzelo! Zadalupa? What's that? 
grab it? Could you just grab it? Grab it! Grab it! You must hold on tight! What you've done again, you are nothing but trouble. Look to our need. Where are you going to find a replacement? That ball reminded her of home. Nothing else here can do that. social attitudes. But I need the thing. Here, take this. Nobody can ignore our protest now. 
Well done, little friend. Together we are strong. Together we can conquer... Right. The silence of nature. Sorry. Then, without the constructor, we can't build any replacement parts. I shall. Oh, 
Coco é louco. Paroluga leketaka la futs, regalata pomek struns. No, friend. Not in a thousand years. You deserve a hero like those from the songs of old. Do not want. A glorious fighter for all that is good. Someone not like him. You, boy. You will not approach my daughter again. You will stay out of everything in the future. Stop standing in our way. And you... You will keep your sassy mouth shut now and come with me. It cannot be long now until... He's coming! Into the sanctuary, everyone! Quick, lock the gate! Stay! Help! No! Get to safety, my angel! Stay! So? Monkeys. Where is my equipment? Have you got our heart? But of course. Have a deal. A heart for one of our inventions. For a weapon that will bring me power and glory. It will make you rich and influential. What is this? Why did I get you all that stuff? Where's my weapon? We are not going to give you a weapon. But this device... No, 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 no. We appear to have a little communication problem. So, I am going to express myself clearly. You stupid critters will stay here until you build me what I want. Then, perhaps, I may think about returning your precious heart to you. Do you understand? But... We will not build weapons for you. Oh, yes, you will. <clears throat> it would be too bad if the heart were destroyed. You horrible liar! You're the old fool's daughter, right? Leave alone! You leave her down! Leave her down! Ugh, sometimes I wonder how you were able to build something like this. Your secret. <laughs> Your <laughs> sanctuary. Build me the machine and I might settle for that. <laughs> the heart? He wants us to build this. A weapon. Sorcerer, Eva! It may be our only chance to get the heart back. Who else would get it for us? Uh, if you were our last hope, we might as well give up. Take me inside. I need to think. Uh.
not help. I will not help him. Our technology in the hands of that monster? Unthinkable. And heart? I will think of something. Oh. <coughs> Try it. Need help.
Pablo, ¿eh? Pablo, 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 Come on, hurry up! Thanks, little guy. Please! What, what are you? You mean your mother was a penguin and your father was a pink monkey? <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, thanks again. You need help? I'd like to help you, honest, but there's a bounty hunter after my pretty neck. That's why I'm going to go out there now, board my airship, and leave here while I still can. Sorry, little guy. Ah, oh, no. Why do things like this always happen to me? Oh! Use your inner voice. That's all, Luca.